So Gaffer, we'll start um, just a bit of reflection on the Carlisle game. Their manager Chris Beach mentioned after the game about our pitch size being a bit smaller than theirs and that impacted the game. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I, I think it's it's the same for both teams. I mean, away from home, we've got a great away record so far this season, so perhaps we've enjoyed uh, bigger dimensions um, to be able to get our wide men on it and uh, and break the pace. So, uh, but I think you know, uh, good players can play on any types of pitch and any dimensions. Have there been thoughts about expanding the pitch at all? Yes, there's several uh, discussions over the last few years, and but you have to adhere to regulations in terms of our, our distance from the dugout, distance from the stand. Um, it's it's a tight, small ground. We know where we're at, um, and we haven't got a. We quite often we're, we're visiting bigger grounds, bigger setups, um, massive stadiums in comparison to us. Um, so we've just got to dig, dig in, you know, and play within the parameters we've got at the moment. If we can extend it, we will do, you know, uh, and make it a bit bigger because it probably plays to our strengths um, as well. So, uh, but nothing to be ashamed of, you know. We're not breaking any rules. We're just trying to fit in a, 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 a pitch uh, within tight parameters of a small ground. Besides the result, was the improvement in the mentality during the match against Carlisle one of the most important things for you that you saw? Yeah, I thought it was an unbelievable mentality and something that we've got to show um, real consistency with you know, moving forward in every every game because we'll certainly be competitive, you'd like to think, in every game if, if everyone's uh, as intense as we were the other night. Um, brilliant collective uh, mentality throughout the game. The table is a bit uneven at the moment with clubs having games mm. in hand, um, but we are up to 13th. Are we aiming for higher than that, Bill? Well, I think first things first, you know, we don't get carried away by a, a couple of wins. Um, we've just got to make sure that we stay up this season, for, you know, and it's not been um, not ambitious. You know, we, we clearly are and we want to go places um, and we want to go places as quickly as possible. However, um, you can suffer disappointments and hangovers from disappointments if you, you set a target, you know, that's... Um, Way beyond, you know, and uh, you know, I think if we finish mid table, it would be a, a great story, you know, this season. And we're in and around that at, at the moment. There's people with games in hand on us, and um, you're only two defeats, you know, consecutive defeats off suddenly looking, looking below instead of looking upwards. So, you know, um, we take a game as it comes at the moment. With a bigger squad now, we, we haven't really made too many changes in recent matches. Um, how do you? How do the players and how do you have this conversation with the players? How do they handle the disappointment or managing the expectations of the players who want to really push on and try and knock on the door to get into the first team and, and play the games? Yeah, I think it's um, you just got to keep talking to players and um, we've got to always remember what it was like as a player. Um, once you once you you feel left out, you know you can um, sometimes go into your shell, you know, and uh, uh, and then it's it's up to us to keep them upbeat, keep keep talking to them. Uh, keep uh, feeding with with information, you know, and things that they can work on in training, and then monitor the progress in training. And and uh, you can be here um, and be a, a big part of it, even though you're not on the pitch at the moment, um, because you're putting pressure on the starting eleven, and you've got to give us the belief as a player that um, if if they're not on it, the ones who start, that they can step in at any point. And on Saturday, of course, we've got to come forward. We'll be looking to put things right, won't we? Well, that's right. Um, I think we owe it to ourselves this time round to put in a, a better display than we did, you know, at our home ground when, you know, I think it was the the worst scoreline we've had for, for literally for, for ten years. Um, but we've recovered well from that. You know, we've shown shown good character um, at this start of this new year uh, and put some decent re results together. Um, so we go into it with a bit more energy and belief than, than last time round when it was a it was a hard night for us. Well, best of luck. Cheers. Thank you.